Hey everybody, Motor Poet 59 here. Talk a little bit about the Biden Band-Aid for the oil energy crisis. His paltry release of oil from the Strategic National Reserves. I did a video on that last week. The paltry amount of oil that some of uh, our oil producing friends released to us. None of that has made a real difference. Uh, prices have gone down about 35 cents a gallon where I live. Uh, maybe they've gone down more where you live. Maybe they've gone down less. I don't know. They've gone down about 35 cents a gallon where I live. And uh, $5.39 a gallon is not cheap. It's not good. It's not helpful. It's, it's changed virtually nothing. Uh, rich people can still afford the gas, so it doesn't matter to them. And poor people still can't afford it. And most of the middle class struggle with it. And... They were struggling with it when it was 579, 580, whatever it went up to at some of its highest places. Hey, stop buying gas at Chevron and Shell. Go to AMPM. It's the same gas. That's another video of the, this paltry decrease. If this is a result of his, uh, his energy cure, his build back better plan, it's not much of a result. I mean, well, I guess it is. It is. A, it's a, it's a big result in the wrong direction, but, uh, it's not working. His Build Back Better BS is just that. It's just BS. Well, somebody has realized that. One of the first things that Biden did when he took office was cancel all leases on federal land for oil and gas exploration and drilling. Well, now he is going to open more federal land for oil and gas exploration and drilling to uh, combat high gas and energy prices in America. The uh, catches, and there's two big catches, is that the federal royalties that uh, exploration and drilling companies pay to explore and drill on federal lands are going to go up by 50%. And that cost, regardless of what, they haven't even said anything about it yet because I'm sure they're hoping nobody notices, that cost is just going to be passed right back down to us. It's going to be passed right down to the pump, so don't expect any big changes in gas prices anytime soon. Those companies aren't going to eat those royalties. They're going to pass them down to the oil companies because most oil companies don't do their own exploration and drilling. They pay somebody to do that. Uh, it's going to get passed down to the oil companies that buy it, the refineries, the distributors, and to us. We're all going to be in essentially the same boat. Uh, the other catch is that it's only going to be on 145,000 acres in nine western states. Uh, I, I say nine western, in nine states, mostly in the west is what the article I read said, but that makes sense. But that is 30% more than the government officials said was going to be needed to make any kind of an impact and 80% less than the industry leaders said they're going to need for any kind of a long-term solution. But Biden is a Democrat and his followers are Democrats and they don't believe in long-term solutions. They only see things in the short term. That's just, that's just a fact. Uh, I defy you to name one long-term anything that the Democrats have done uh, other than Obamacare, which <laughs> wasn't really, uh, it's supposed to last for a long time, but it's going to cost a ton of money, and it's a highly ineffective program. But the Democrats are historically very short-sighted, and this is no different. This is just another attempt to shore up his slumping numbers, uh, mostly among rhinos and independents, but there are plenty of Democrats who are, are sick of this too. And uh, one of the things I find amusing and um, heartening, maybe, hopeful, is that... Uh, one of the things in his campaign, he said in, in uh, New Hampshire, he said in a couple of places, but he said in New Hampshire and everything was getting going. Oh, by the way, no new drilling. Remember, uh, for all of you who are old enough, remember George H.W. Bush when he said, read my lips, no new taxes. Well, it didn't work out for him, did it? It didn't work out for him where taxes were concerned, and it didn't work out for him where re-election was concerned, and I don't think it's going to work out for Biden either. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motorpoet59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. We'll see you all later.